So here's my, here's my scarf. And maybe it doesn't go very much. I forgot I have a black shirt on, so we've got to do something about that. Let's make it like this instead. <laughs> All right, now, that's much better. Okay. And, um, with my hat. Now with a magic hat, you can uh, put all, by the way, I should show you here, the hat is empty. Did you look at this hat? Yeah, it's empty. It's empty. And it's, you know, nothing, nothing tricky about it. It's no. a hat. All right. So you can put all kinds of things into it with magic, like this uh, drinking glass here. You can put that in there. Or, um, well, I've really got some I'll keep all kinds of weird things like this little box can go in there or, and the scarf could go in there if I wanted to and so forth. What I want to do is I want to pour some water, green water, into the cup of my hat. So here we go. I'm going to pour it into the cup. And oops, I uh, wasn't paying attention and I forgot to put the cup in the hat. No. Head like <laughs> that. I mean, he fits right in there perfectly. And, uh, <laughs> so it's it's empty. All right. So I'm going to put the box back here on the table, and then we'll take a look at the tube. And the tube is also empty, and it's got, you know, you stick your arm through it, like that, okay? Nothing in it, you can see right through it, empty. So I'll put this back here, and then I'm going to uh, use some magic words. And by the way, magic words can be anything you want. I mean, abracadabra is a common one, but we could do hocus pocus. Or, it doesn't matter. It could be bologna and cheese if you'd like. So, so we're going to do uh, hocus pocus. And then we'll see if we can find anything in here. Ah, okay. Look. That's what I found. Wow. What? Oh, my. Look at all that. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. There's some more here. Okay. All right. Oh, we got here. Uh, uh -huh. Well, we got the American flag. We're going to take care of that. And what else we got in here? And then, oh, okay. Let's see here. Anybody got a birthday? Okay, got a bunch of birthdays here. So this is in honor of your birthday. It says, happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. There we are. Okay. Uh, more. More stuff. Really nice here. How long is that? Okay. Oh, okay. Put your phone away. That's long. Dang that thing. I see some white fur. Ooh, I know. Let me see. Could be my rabbit. I've been looking for it. And here is my magic rabbit. Oh, uh, the skunk! Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Okay, let me get this cleaned up here. Blow all this stuff out of the way. So we made things appear. Okay. You know, it's night time and it won't be long before all of you guys will have to go to bed and all that. I wonder if this has happened to you. It's nighttime, you're in your bed, the room is dark, you've got the covers pulled up, 
and you're trying to go to sleep, but you can't mm -hmm. because you have a creepy feeling that there's something in the closet. And you tell yourself, oh, that's just my imagination, you know, there's nothing in the closet. But the creepy feeling comes back that there's something in the closet. Mm. And you, you try to convince yourself that you're just being silly. No, there's nothing in the closet. You're just being silly. But the creepy feeling comes back that there's something in the closet. So if you're like me, what you do is you pull back the covers and you got to see for yourself. So you tiptoe over to the closet and you reach out and grab the door handle and slowly pull it open. And there's nothing inside. I over it all along. It's empty. <laughs> Go back to bed, pull up the covers, fall asleep right away. Ever that happened to you? you know, yeah, kind of, kind of yeah. like having a hard time sleeping because you're worried something is in the closet. You know. Okay. Well, tell you what. I brought with me a small closet right here. Let me put this on the table. Here's our small closet right there. Okay. So when I look at this thing, I get a creepy feeling. There's something in the closet. So let's take a look and see what's inside the closet. Oh, that's cute. A cute skeleton. And it's a skeleton. Oh. Well, actually, it's not a very scary skeleton. It's just kind of cute, actually. It's kind of small and kind of cute. It's not a bad looking skeleton. Yeah, right here. Oh, oh it's broken. No, oh, it's in pieces. Well, that's too bad. Well, let me let me uh, put it back together again. So uh, let's see here. There we are. We'll start with the feet and the legs. Put those in there like that. And then uh, the hips and, and the arms and the lower rib cage. We'll put that in there like that. And then we'll put the head and the shoulders and so forth on there like that. So now our skeleton's back together the way it's supposed to be. Let's just double check, make sure I've done everything correctly. <laughs> and I thought I put this together. Oh well, let's try it over. You put another one. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, let's put this back together again. Okay, there are the feet, and we'll put the closet on here like this. Okay, and then um, the rib cage. Okay, and then we got the, the head. So now everything is properly set up. There we go. Midget. She's a midget. Oh. Midget. And a little midget. This is really strange. Is it him? Okay. Okay. She's a midget. Well, I, 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 I know what to do. This is a handkerchief right here. And I'm going to uh, put the head right there. And I'm going to cover it up with the handkerchief, so now we know right where it is. So when I put this back together again, it will be put together properly. So here we go. There we are. So now I need to uh, put the head back in there. Custodians are needed by the egg drop station at the back of the cafeteria. Once again, custodians are needed at the egg drop station by the back of the cafeteria. There's some excess of trash that needs taken out. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, where'd it go? I mean, you know, no, it's a closet. It's a closet. No, it's really. It's in the closet. Yeah, it's in the closet. I was right. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, yeah. 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 Now I'll tell you something. That is really creepy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do one more thing with you tonight. And this has to do. This has to do with Halloween. Now Halloween is coming up real soon, and very soon you'll be putting on costumes and stuff to go trick-or-treating and having a good time. And I've been trying to think about what kind of a costume I should wear. Well, you know, I'm kind of big, so um, I'm thinking that I should be a monster. 
I mean, I'd be a great monster. I could go around at night going, great, 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 you know, scare everybody. I'd have a great time doing that. But I wanted to show you uh, what I'm thinking about for my makeup, you know, what I should look like. So I'm going to draw a picture of what I'm going to do with my makeup. So let's uh, use the tablet right here. I've got my marker pen. And I am going to uh, draw a picture of my idea. So now the monster has kind of a funny shaped head. That takes too long to do, so. <laughs> do we just work on it? No. <laughs> <laughs>